I want to speak to some of the design decisions in Piano Place, starting with the on-screen display of the piano keyboard, which here shows the white keys in a line and the black keys in a line just a tiny bit above it. And that works very well for not obscuring the music video, which is underneath, and that's a very important consideration. But even more importantly is not obscuring the YouTube ad, which it would probably anger YouTube if we're covering that ad up. And if the default is the photo real keyboard, that would be a real business problem for us. Another thing that seems preferable on the minimal keyboard is the contrast between when a note is being played, when it's not being played, when it's on, when it's off. It's non-subtle with the minimal keyboard while it tends to be a bit subtle with the photorealistic one. Another very important consideration is the logic of the play line or the action line, which is the horizontal line that when the approaching note hits it, you're supposed to play that note. And you can see here it's at the back of the key rather than the front where the key is full width and where you're likely to press the note and where you kind of think of the center of that note. This is not a problem with the minimal keyboard where it's been condensed into just a few pixels vertically. Now let's talk a bit about color and how the white keys and the black keys are represented color-wise. The song you're looking at is in C major, so it's all on the white keys. For the white keys, we have seven colors per octave, and we want to use seven basic colors that are easy to name. We use red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink, or magenta. And of course it comes back around to red. And we tend to prefer blue, purple, and pink to say blue, indigo, and violet because we want to make sure that the colors are easy to distinguish from one another and easy to name. Now let's talk about the black keys. If we transpose or if we just play a song that's in a different key, you'll see that the black keys are striped. They use the colors of the two adjacent white keys. And this works amazingly well when you have stickers on the keys. You only have to put stickers on the seven white keys per octave and you only have to use seven basic colors. You don't have these in-between colors. As thrilled as we are that we have a solution that works so well with stickers on the seven white keys of each octave, we could do something a lot better if we had a keyboard such as the new Lumi, which allows the software to determine the colors of the keys dynamically and can also put colors on the black keys. Uh, it can't put stripes and we can accept that limitation, but we can adjust those colors and which color goes onto which key depending on which key or key signature we are in. For instance, if we're in the key of F sharp, we can make it look like this. So what's really interesting about this approach is that it actually ties it back to the way it's done in conventional notation where even in keys other than C or A minor, another key that only uses white notes, we treat the notes that are within the key signature, within the current key, differently than the notes that are not within that key. And Piano Play doesn't really do that with the stickers uh, quite as well, unless you happen to be in C major or A minor. On these other keys, that include black notes, the black notes are just, you, you don't really have a distinction between notes that are in the key and not. Here you do, because we light them up on the keyboard and we give them basic colors. And you notice that F sharp is green because it's associated with F and it's in the staff position of F in conventional notation. So we color it green. This note here, oddly enough, normally would be green because it's F, but here it's E sharp within the context of the key of F sharp. And while this seems confusing, it actually makes a confusing concept in music much less confusing because it represents it visually with the colors in piano play. And this is a really powerful thing that can be done with a keyboard like the Lumi.